Hey, hey, hey there, Don Wilson here. I've got a really cool case study for you today that I think you're going to get a lot out of because it's, it's really unique on how we're doing 100 to 200 bucks per day profit with no inventory and a small ad budget, like 25 to 50 bucks a day, something anyone can do. Okay, we don't do the ads perfect. It's one simple ad. It's a PPE ad. But I know that anyone watching this video can take what we're doing here and apply it to themselves. So let me show you the product, the ad, the targeting, uh, where we got it, the, the margins, uh, everything. Okay, so let's start with the product. It is a necklace that we got off of AliExpress. It's almost a choker style necklace. It's a gothic looking thing that uh, people that like dragons that are born in September would really love. And I know that because that's how we're selling it. You can see from the copy, it says, are you or someone that you know born in September? Do you or someone you know love dragons? So we're selling it basically to people that are born in September that love dragons. And here is the ad. And, uh, you know, this time I know some, anybody can do this is you might not catch a slip up in the ad, but the ad's not perfect. The stunning sapphire blue dragon bracelet is the perfect gift for a September baby. Yada, yada, link. And that's our Google Analytics link. You could just link direct to your website. But basically, this is a necklace, and even in the ad copy, we said dragon bracelet, which was kind of funny. So, uh, imperfect ad, uh, not done with a, a giant pixel full of data and a whole lot of different stuff coming through it. Just a simple PPE ad, and here's the targeting. It's at the bottom of the screen. Targeting is women, 25 plus, that are born in September. If you go into ads, you can basically, if you type in September or born in September, it'll give you that audience, people that are born in September. It's a demographic. So is women, so is 25 plus. Then you do an and statement and interested in dragons. That's it. You know, we didn't do video ads, fancy different ads, huge giant pixel data, none of that stuff. It was just women, 25 plus, born in September and interested in dragons. Now we were smart about this. Started selling it in August, okay? Because we, I did this on purpose. It wasn't an accident. It was a campaign that I, I thought, hey, this is a pretty good idea. Birthdays are coming up. Birthdays are in Facebook ads manager. Let's mix birthday with an interest and let's see how it goes. So on this one, it was PPE, 50 bucks a day, USA, Canada, UK, New Zealand, Australia. Probably could have separated and probably could have done it better. I know I could have done it better, but that's not the point. So 50 bucks a day. Here's where we fulfilled it. And this was AliExpress. Uh, you can check the link in the thing, but they have this with a sapphire blue and they have it with a deep red version. Now, we got a bulk price on this because we sold enough to get a bulk price on it. So it cost us like $6 and something, um, just about just a little over 6 bucks. And it's free shipping to the United States uh, and most other places that I had via ePacket. Okay? And I was surprised and impressed with how fast they got this out. They were shipping most everything within like two days max, most of them with like a day. And it's got 19,967 pieces available. So shipping, I don't, uh, inventory, I don't think is going to be a concern. Okay, so... It was about six bucks out the door for this item, and as you see, we charged thirty-four ninety-five. Plus, we also charged four ninety-five shipping. So we were at thirty-nine ninety. Call it forty dollars for easy math, and this was at like six twenty-five, something like that. Okay, so we had a thirty-three dollars and seventy-five cent margin to work with. So it was pretty easy to get the sales in at that. Uh, we had a lot of margin to work with. Just take an example, because we sold a lot of this in August leading up to September. And then we sold uh, it leading up to about September 9th or so. And then we just kind of paused the ads and everything because we knew we couldn't actually get it to arrive in time for people's birthdays. So we stopped selling it at that point. But we could have sold mugs and shirts. And we tried one mug. It didn't work. We tried some shirts and some necklaces and different things. Some took off. Some didn't. But here's let me just keep going through here. September 2nd at 10 a.m. Because that's when I started building this case study for you. And that's why I took the stats. So September 2nd at 10 a.m., we were at $159.60 in sales, which is just $399, $39.90 by four. Now, obviously, a couple sales is very negligible, but this was, this was pretty average. That's why I used this example. Ad spin was $18.56 so far at 10 a.m. The targeting um, had that dragon stuff in there as well, but this is the audience, basically. It was women, 25 plus, birthday in September, mixed in with the dragon interest. Cost of goods, I think, was $27.96. I don't know if that's exactly right. It's pretty close if it's not. Uh, shipping is free. Processing fee from Stripe or PayPal because they do process the payment was four seventy nine. And I think that's I think it was actually less than that. So net profits at ten a.m. was one hundred eight twenty nine. Uh, so that that was probably a two hundred and fifty dollar profit day. And then I had upsells. So we had a bracelet that was actually just a September bracelet that we did for an upsell. And that thing, I think over the campaign sold like. 800 to 900 dollars for this stuff and that, uh, that bracelet was only like a dollar 
So we made a, a healthy net on that as well. But this is simple. You know, I'm not trying to show you how to uh, make a million dollars here. I'm showing you a campaign that anyone can pull off with the ad spend that anyone can get access to um, without a lot of complicated ad strategies. Okay. So here's the marketing fancy. We did do a little bit of fancy stuff. All right. The conversion rate was six to eight percent, and it varies a little because uh, we didn't do a super large enough volume to where I could give you an exact conversion rate that would really truly be specific. And it was a birthday based campaign. As we were nearing September and more people's birthday were right there, we had a little higher conversion. And as we're etching out of September, as I'm making this video, the conversion is a little bit, you know, quite a bit lower actually towards the end of the month because we can't, we, we stopped turning the ads off. We couldn't get the product there on time we wanted. So we didn't want to disappoint people, but the conversion rate varied a little just by the nature of this style of campaign, but it was six to 8%. We did do a little trickery um, that only our platform can do. And this isn't even the trading, but it's something I was going to do on a live call for people that got into our pro platform. But um, I, if you're doing Shopify, you can't do this, but it's question mark C A R T A N D and A V equals off. So basically that stands for question mark. Uh, cart and navigation equals off and I put it on our sales page. So I'll show you how to do it. If you're in pro, this will apply to you. If you're not, um, you should be in pro. Uh -huh. So question mark, cart and nav equals off. And before I go to that, I'm going to show it to you how it is now. We have the back to store button. We've got a cart here. We've got the add to cart, which encourages them to check out or continue shopping around, obviously for average order value. But we didn't have a whole lot of September stuff on this uh actual domain. So that would have done nothing but hurt us for conversions. It would have gave extra steps. So we have a, have a system for that. There's question mark cart and nav equals off. Boom. This is gone. The cart is up there. It's gone. This turns into a buy it now. They just select their quantity and they check out with either their PayPal or they check out with card. They can't keep shopping around and end up abandoning the cart. It's a faster checkout process as it converts a little bit better. So that's the only real super marketing fancy stuff that we did. Um, but it does make a big difference. So now I want to show you some of the other products we sold. Let me get some water. You can probably guess by how I showed you the last one, which we sold. I don't know exactly how much the last one we sold. I think it was like six thousand, seven thousand dollars of that thing in a, like a week or two. I'm not sure, but this is another one we tried. Um, I don't remember how many sold with this because I had an ads guy doing this stuff for me. I don't do it myself. But it's September uh, elephant necklace. We did the same type of thing here. It was people born in September, interested in elephant terms, and I think we just used the broad term elephant. We didn't break it down into anything more complicated than that. And it was the same countries, same demographic, not broken down by all kinds of different age groups. It was just women 25 plus in those countries that are born in September that enjoy elephants. And September bracelet. This is the bracelet I was telling you. This thing's like a buck on AliExpress. And it's a nice bracelet. I actually ordered one. It's surprisingly <laughs> nice. But it's a nice bracelet, and we use this for an upsell for absolutely everything. We tried running a campaign itself to this, and all I got was break even. Now, we could have maybe done better, I don't know, but break even wasn't really worth my time, um, to, to be quite honest with you. So I didn't keep trying to scale this thing. But it was a great upsell that we used for other products because if you like dragons but born in September, and you liked elephants but born in September, and you liked, um, you know, the country of Zimbabwe and you're born in September, I don't know, we didn't do that obviously. All those have September in common. So we can use this same upsell for all of them. So I did. I used the same upsell for all of them and it sold um, pretty well on that dragon necklace, for example. And it sold okay on the other ones. And we tried running traffic to it itself. I think I have it on the next slide. But uh, again, this one, I'm just being honest, this we didn't really make money. For We broke even and I spent time on it. So in, in my mind, I actually lost money. But as an upsell, it did make money. So let me give you the angles we did with it. Angle one was people born in September. We just tried that as a broad one. I figured if we can get a broad audience going, we can actually do some volume. And, you know, uh, I made this video for people that can get started in any budget. But if I'm going to seriously look at an ad campaign myself and have any involvement myself with it, I want to do volume. In September itself, people born in that, there's a lot of people born in September. So there was enough for me to actually take a look at this campaign and really try to hop in it myself. So angle one was people born in September. Angle two, we're close friends of people with an upcoming birthday, and it's within 30 days. And these are just, not just angles, really, they're audiences, uh, but we use them for different angles in our ads, obviously. The people born in September, we did an ad to them based on them born, being born in September. If it was close friends of people born in September, an upcoming birthday, depending on what date we ran that ad, 
it was a little bit different. It was targeting people to buy a gift for your upcoming friends that are born in September with their birthstone in it. Okay? So there was angle three with close friends of people with an upcoming birthday. Now, in this particular campaign, we ran it directly to bracelet. People born in September did not work. Did not work at all. <laughs> but the close friends of people with an upcoming birthday, 30 days in one week, both worked. But the problem was this campaign didn't have enough time, and I didn't have enough time myself to, to actually try to scale that. We probably could have done it better. We could have tested all the different uh, ad styles. Uh, this did make you know a little money, but in terms of how much I put into it and with the uh, loser of the people born in September angles came out as break even, but these angles were making money. So just letting you know that people with an upcoming birthday, one week and 30 days that you can basically, it's, a, it's the same thing as September, but Facebook treats the audience style a little different. So we tried it with that angle as well and it performed differently. Now, if you're doing like an on-demand product or something gets delivered really quickly or a drop ship product from the U.S. domestically to the U.S. or from somewhere that's closer, these audiences become a lot more valuable. Um, the, the ones with people with an upcoming birthday within a week or 30 days because you can get the product delivered there quick enough. This one was getting shipped out in two days, but it was e-packet. So some of those we just couldn't, couldn't use. Um, just let you know kind of how it went. September Turtle is another one to give you a kind of a good idea. Uh, this one didn't work. I don't think the birthstone was close enough to where we needed it to be. And uh, But it was the same type of angle. It was people born in September. They identify with the blue or the sapphire are really close to it. They really like them. Uh, but this one I probably could have targeted better because we just did the same lazy thing. PPE ad, September, turtle. So what should we have tried? Split testing my pricing earlier. I started like that, for example, that dragon necklace at a lot cheaper price as I moved it up. I just made more money per sale. So I was able to scale uh, harder and faster. So I wish I would have done that earlier because I didn't find it out until I was in like the scale city of the campaign right when September was approaching in deep late August. So I lost a lot of money in terms of profit and I lost the ability to scale a lot of different things if I really wanted to. Um, I didn't push these ads obviously, but split testing the pricing enhanced my profit a lot and I didn't do anything crazy, but. I just bumped it up a few times and saw how it performed and the conversion didn't drop, so I left it. It was that simple. I just wish I would have done it earlier. Uh, more ad types, obviously. Um, I don't have the time to run a $100 a day campaign because I'm running Gearbubble. But more ad types, doing link clicks, uh, building out lookalike audiences, doing better scaling, uh, properly doing manual bidding, and we're trying to hit those audiences hard while you have that late August and that early September when you could do volume with these campaigns. And more products. These audiences aren't that large because you're kind of intersecting them and going from September is what you got for a pool to begin with. And then I've been mostly doing women. You can do men too, but it has to be a different type of product. Um, but more products would have helped. So here's one I wanted to try. This is like a dollar on AliExpress and I would recommend doing ePacket, not the free economic airmail from Sun Yu. But it's really cheap. It's a proven to sell product. Um, I know I've seen this sell in my newsfeed a lot. You can do things that they would do with this, uh, bikers that are mixed with Christian interest, that are mixed with men that are born in September. Now, there's elephants and then there's Christianity. One has a much larger audience to where you can pick from a broad interest like Christianity or you can pick from an existing Christian design brand and men that are interested in that and born in September. There's a lot more angles and a lot more angles to scale. Again, I didn't have the time. That's all this was. I didn't have the time to actually try this myself. So um, I'm just throwing it out there. This is another one. Much bigger audience than elephants and turtles is Buddha, uh, Buddhism. People buy this. There are statues everywhere. I look to the right in my house. I have like one or two different Buddha things here. So this is, I think, would be more of a men's necklace. But it can be men's and women's. or It's, it's like a beaded necklace. But it's $4.89. You get bulk, you're going to get it cheaper. E-Packet is free. So if you sell that for $29.95 plus $4.95 shipping and handling, you got about 30 bucks to work with for a margin to scale that with. So it's nice. But you know how we tackle that, people that are interested in Buddha. Um, there's a lot of different ways that you could go about it, but it's the same type of intersecting and angling audiences. Okay, and next up is October. So we got October and November then December and any single month that you want ongoing after that that this type of strategy works for. It's just another angle and it's a great angle and it's something that hopefully people can 
walk away with and make some money. But October, the plan for that. Birthstone's a little tougher. It's opal and another one, but it can be done. You go to AliExpress, you can get opal rings that are for women. You can get opal jewelry. Astrology can work well. Over two-thirds of people that are born in October are all Libra. So you can get uh, Libra necklaces, and you can get it from people that are uh, born in, in October is a, an angle you could try. You can get people that are interested in like the topic of Libra. If it's a necklace that's a nice little Libra necklace, you can get them on AliExpress or you can make one on Gearbubble and make an on-demand one. You can target people that have friends, close friends with an upcoming birthday. And you could have started the two and a half weeks ago on the Libra one because Libra actually starts September 22nd and goes through October 22nd. So Libra would be a cleaner one to target than than October um, if you're doing things that way with that necklace because October you're going to get two-thirds of it and a third of your audience you know, in October isn't going to be Libra. So I would go straight for Libra on that one, but it's a hot piece right now. You can target people that are Libra themselves or you can do what I did with the other one that did better for us with that September bracelet and maybe find a higher margin Libra necklace and you can scale really hard right now to people that are close friends of someone with an upcoming birthday in the next week. Because we're already in Libra season as of September 22nd. So that could be done immediately. And 100% of the Libra audience or 100% of the next week, the close friends, that's going to apply. Born in October, that's a style that's been done uh, really, really well. From mugs and shirts and necklaces that's a couple different ways to go after angling and targeting them. You can make, you know, uh, best chemists are born in October. October. The best accountants are born in October. You gotta get the point on that. Now that one you can't go after their friends, but you can go after them. So you kind of gotta think about this from the different angles: what you can do direct to the person born in October, what you can do to their friends, and what you can intersect as other interests and angles to upcoming things. And this isn't just October. Anything that's upcoming, this works really, really well for. So I hope you learned something with this case study. I worked really hard on it for you. We made a lot of money with these methods. They still work. There's going to be a lot of months coming. We're not going to run out of months. They just start over again the next year. So this is a great style for you to have ongoing. Now my question to you is, are you ready for Q4? Do you have a cool platform that allows you to add a code snippet and turn off the things to the checkout and the extra navigation so that you can convert on a $40 product at, at 8%. If you don't, we'd love to have you on Pro. We got a free trial, then it's 97 bucks a month for a rebuild. We got some of the most powerful features in the whole world, the planet, the universe, and I really think that it's gonna help a lot of people make a lot of money this holiday season. So come hop on in, join Pro. Hopefully you enjoyed the case study. Hopefully it gets your brain going on some stuff that can make you some money this season, and I hope you have a great day.